here is a message from our police department of the future. We are watching you. We protecting you from committing a crime. We are protecting private property. You need our help to be free. Do not be afraid. You are being watched. This is PTR, People's Tribune Radio. Produced by People's Tribune Newspaper. A monthly published in Chicago. Who does the police protect? Please listen. People's Tribune, September 2016. Justice Department Investigation Condemns Baltimore Police by Jim Fight. Dateline, Baltimore, Maryland. The Baltimore Police Department has shown the city who is boss. After a homicide was committed on Freddie Gray while in the custody of six Baltimore City police officers, the officers were found innocent in court and awarded back pay. The U.S. Justice Department has been investigating the Baltimore City Police Department because of hundreds of citizen complaints that they were racist, sexist, violent toward those arrested in handcuffs and gave rough rides to prisoners in police vans. The city has paid millions of taxpayer dollars to innocent people who were maimed and terrorized by the Baltimore police in civil courts. The Justice Department recently released its report that made official that the Baltimore City Police Department violates the rights of citizens every day. Police leaders filled out arrest forms in advance in which the subject listed for arrest was quote-unquote black male. Police commanders ordered the arrest of young men without cause, instructing their officers to make something up. Police laughed about violating people's rights right in front of the U.S. Justice Department investigators who were riding along with them. People were beaten while handcuffed in front of the investigators. Women were maced just because they did not move fast enough under arrest. The Justice Department ordered many cosmetic changes. Baltimore City Police Department had the last laugh. Under the nose of the U.S. Justice Department, Baltimore City PD operated an illegal spying operation that spied on all the people of Baltimore, including the mayor and city council. The Baltimore City PD received funds from a wealthy Texas capitalist who shifted the millions of dollars through a police foundation in Washington, D.C., and a community organization in Baltimore City. The foundation took a cut of the cash and passed the rest to the police department as a grant, which did not have to be listed on their public documents. The police then purchased surveillance from contractors who formerly worked for the U.S. Army in Iraq. The contractors flew airplanes above the city and recorded all motion in a 30-mile radius. This allowed the police to see when the mayor left her house in the morning or when the district attorney left her office in the afternoon. It also allowed them to trace the movements of the Justice Department investigation. This activity was just recently made public by accident, and the people of Baltimore are left wondering, what is next? Dropping the benign mask of serve and protect, the police stand exposed as the watchdogs of private property. Militarized, divorced from society, striving to become a law unto themselves, their every brutal, illegal act shapes and concretizes an American fascist police state. 
We must confront each and every attack on what liberty we have left. Most of all, we must see that new labor-replacing technology has fundamentally changed the world. There is no going back. We must visualize the world of peace and freedom that electronics makes possible and fight for that future. Contact the People's Tribune at www.peoplestribune.org The only solution to our problems is a cooperative society where the needs of all the people are met. Send your stories to the People's Tribune. Its pages are open to you. Subscribe to the People's Tribune and order copies to share with your friends. Donate at peoplestribune.org. We need your support to continue telling the truth. Find PTR, People's Tribune Radio, at iTunes and subscribe to our podcast. You can find us also on YouTube, People's Tribune Radio. Find out how people are fighting forward with a vision to create a new society. Hey.